Uh, let me read this first. We have secured the original phone call mm -hmm. between Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play that for you in a moment. I believe this is an exclusive. In it is. Yeah. And I have a note from George Graficos who writes, as a GLer, I'm a bit embarrassed that I didn't figure this out sooner. Kamala is planning to make wholesale changes to her prior positions, such as Medicare for all, open borders, gun confiscation, etc. She is known as not being someone who studies her briefing papers, so it is taking this long for her staff to properly prep Kamala on how to give a convincing argument as to why she is now 180 degrees from her 2019 and 2020 positions. It's going to be glorious listening to Kamala defending her newfound positions. I don't believe she can do it. Regards George in Arizona. And he's referring to the fact that this is day 24. And there has not yet been a word of substance from the Harris campaign. Well, the other one, too, basically. I don't get the, it. The, the country's in dreadful shape. But we do have exclusively... Uh, to Garage Logic, the original phone call between Kamala and Mr. Walls. Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Madam Vice President. Listen, you weren't my first choice. To be honest, you weren't even in my top 10. But no one else wants to run as my VP because they all know I'm going to lose. You are the only one who is willing to be my running mate. Yeah, I mean, this is basically career suicide. But I did some dumb shit a few years back, and now I'm totally controlled by the deep state. And so they told me either I become your running mate or I get Epstein in a New York prison. Now, the fact that we're both radical communists is a slight problem. But I got some instructions from Big Daddy Barack. Basically, we're going to pretend that you're a normal American white guy. There's a bunch of things you did that we got to run away from here. You passed a law requiring tampons in the boys' bathroom in schools. You basically cheered on the George Floyd rioters who burned down your cities. You implemented a snitch hotline during COVID. And Tim, you signed a law that allows the state to take custody of children if their parents refuse to let them transition. I mean, what the f***, Tim? We got a lot of cleanup to do here. But listen, we already got the mainstream media gaslighting America into thinking that you're super normal. This is America's dad, America's football coach, and the teacher that's cool enough without trying to be cool. A lot of people have noticed the sort of down-to-earth, uh, like quality to him. He's very moderate in Congress. A moderate Democrat. A centrist, but a more centrist. Kind of a centrist Midwesterner in persona. That's pretty funny because I'm weird as f Americans are dumb, Tim. <laughs> They'll believe anything we tell them. They are so dumb, right? They think I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the plan. In order to hide your own weirdness, we want you to accuse Trump and J.D. Vance of being weird. Just say it over and over again. Weird, 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 weird. And then they start being weird. They're weird, 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 weird. Donald Trump's weirdness. Very weird, weird. It's just too weird. It's weird, weird. Okay, so how far left are we admitting to being here? Like, are we openly woke? We have to stay woke. Like, everybody needs to be woke. <laughs> and, and, and you can talk about if you're the wokest or woker, but just stay more woke than less woke. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We're flip-flopping on everything right now. We want to keep the voters confused. You know when your GPS suddenly starts rerouting inexplicably and you have no idea where you're going and you're afraid your GPS might just drive you off a cliff? We're exactly like that. What do we say if reporters ask us about policy stuff? Oh, we're not taking questions from reporters, Tim. We're not prepared for that. But if you do find yourself in a tricky spot with a reporter, just cackle. Cackle. Yeah, yeah. you know, cackle. You're considered the most liberal United States senator. I, I somebody said that, and it actually was Mike Pence on the debate stage. But yeah. <laughs> and is that a socialist or progressive perspective? No. <laughs> like, what do you want to know? Wow, that's horrifying. Exactly. It's horrifying, but distracting. Okay, so Tim, tell me, your radical left political views, are those real? Oh, no, of course not. No, honestly, I will have whatever political views you pay me to have. I love it, Tim. You're like the white male version of me. You're right. No one voted for me either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kamala, let's see what can be unburdened by what has been. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Hey, you ever noticed that Eric Waltz sounds like Harry Balls? Um, <laughs> I didn't know that part. Okay, now we know. <laughs> well, that you took ever, some doing. Have you ever seen a firefly? 
Yes. Kenny? <laughs> huh? Yes, Joe, I have. <laughs> Why do you ask, Joe? Hasn't, hasn't every adult? I haven't. Is this going what? somewhere? Come on. I I bring you this have. up because we're learning that uh, fireflies are disappearing. Boy, oh, you are right. Why? It's days like today. I wish we could take calls. Yeah, I'd love if I could spend with them. Okay. You ever seen a firefly? You call me now. Uh, Can I tell you more on something? Are you back <laughs> on the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> No, I. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm. You know, what? I, I I'm have play no, along. Here we go. I, okay, go ahead. Right. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, they're go. only visible uh, roughly three to four weeks out of the year, from yep. the end of du uh, June to the end of July. But researchers warn they are disappearing. Ben Pfeiffer, the founder of the Firefly Conservation and Research. <laughs> wow. He's the founder, huh? <laughs> told Carol Evan. That 14% of North American firefly species are threatened or classified as critically, as critically endangered or vulnerable. See? And, vulnerable. And, that's right, Matt. And it goes on to say that number could be higher. There are people uh, actively trying to track firefly data. And Katie Kelch from Prior Lake is one of them. Magical, peaceful, inspirational, and childlike. Kelch said when describing the insects. Her and her family fell in love with fireflies at their first home when they frequented a field in the summer. I don't know who they is, either the fireflies or the family <laughs> frequented a, flyer, a, a field. When we decided to move a firefly friendly area, was on the list of things we were looking for in a new house, Kelch said. Hmm. Kelch participates in Firefly Atlas a community-based science project tracking data around the beloved bioluminescent insects. She began counting them in 2019. Since then, the awareness around fireflies disappearing has grown, but the data hasn't changed much. That really doesn't make sense, does it? If the data hasn't changed, how come they're disappearing? Right. Well, why quibble? Uh, what a mystery. Pfeiffer says they don't know enough because there are not enough scientists out there studying it. But they do know the reasons why it's happening. Okay, good. Research shows habitat loss is one of the leading causes of firefly disappearance. When new construction takes over a forest or marsh, it drives fireflies away. Experts also say pesticides are damaging too. It makes for such an incredible moment witnessing fireflies with your children. It's a good memory, Kelch said, one she hopes she and others can experience for years to come. And I submit to you that uh, I'm, I'm pro-firefly. I might have seen one or two as a kid. It usually seemed to me that there was always some kid walking around with a mayonnaise jar. Right, had, yeah, a had a firefly in it, you know. <clears throat> yeah, and he had to pull coals in the yeah in the yeah. top. But I also love this story because a I I do love fireflies, mm. and b there's no mention of climate change here. <laughs> right, but didn't it kind of <laughs> insinuate that that was the cause? I don't think so, Ken. Uh, um, I think that construction was the cause of what, pesticides. What purpose do they serve? What good do they do they, the environment? They, <clears throat> they remind you that life and nature are grand. Oh, okay. But they're wonderful. They're pretty. Um, I can actually see them from the house. It's dark enough around where I live. Is we can see them right out our window are there earth, floating are, around. Can they be seen in the city? Uh, yeah. I, I have to admit, I never saw a firefly in the city. I always see them yeah. up here. And I'm done seeing them for the year because you, right off the bat, you said June through mid-July, and that's that's our where, case. Where do they go? Do they die and then just leave larvae well, behind that becomes question. a new group of fireflies? I think uh, when you first brought this up, I thought we were going to get deep into the debate uh, along the line of grass-fed versus corn-fed. No, no, um, no. It would be firefly versus lightning bug because oh. there's a big debate. That's been raging for years. What do you call them? Are they one and the, the lightning same? bug? 
uh, the, yeah, they're the same thing. But the lightning bug crowd, they really, really hate the firefly crowd. Really? And those two, oil and water, they will not I don't get know along. where I'd be. I don't know if I'd be a lightning bug guy or a firefly guy. I, I think, think I'm, I'm going firefly. firefly. Yeah, I think we're firefly. It's um, like a duck, duck, gray duck or duck, duck, goose. It's one of those type of arguments. Do you know what the average lifespan is of your average firefighter? I, I don't well, know. We, that's what we want to know. 10 minutes. 61 days. Well, there's your June, wow. July. There huh. you go. And you're then what happens? Catch. Well, they probably get et. right? Yeah, but they, they must leave something behind to become fireflies. Eggs or larvae or larva. That's a disgusting word. Yeah, larvae. They nest in your yes. hair. I like also have. House. I also have for your edification and the edification of the two or three listers we have left. I have the I farmers. Uh, I have the farmers almanac winter outlook. Uh oh. Because I don't know about you, but I've been saying to neighbors and passersby, what if we get the same amount of snow this winter as we've had rain this summer? Been hearing that a lot. Well, yes. We have 12 feet of snow. Hmm. Well, it turns out the uh, Farmer's Almanac, of course, uh, Matt, has been predicting these. Forever. Uh, Since their beginning. 200 years, Matt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to the latest outlook, which was released only yesterday. So you're hearing it here, yeah. again, exclusively. According to their latest outlook released Tuesday, you should prepare yourself for the wet winter whirlwind. Mm. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. Their annual extended weather prediction calls for a season of rapid fire storms that will bring rain and snow, a very active storm track that will deliver frequent bouts of heavy precipitation and strong and gusty winds. That's over most of the eastern half of the country. Hmm. However, the oh. outlook notes that the effects of La Nina will make a difference in how the weather will be. Okay. And and then we go on to learn if you're new to the term La Nina, it describes the periodic cooling of ocean surface temps in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific. And if you're a planner, go ahead and block out January 20 to 27 in particular for a tropical getaway. That's when the farmer's almanac outlook likely showed copious amounts of snow rain, sleet, and ice. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Readers in Texas in the Northwest circle the beginning of Feb for a possible snowstorm. The Farmer's Almanac predicts up to six inches in the Lone Star State and a foot of snow likely in the Bitterroot Mountain Range of Idaho. Does Minnesota make the cut here? Uh, we learn the season's cold. Oh, boy, listen to this one. Hmm. We learn that the season's coldest temps will be found in the northern plains to the Great Lakes region. That's us. Between the end of Jan and the beginning of Feb, it could be the coldest days, especially up around these parts. Okay. If you think you're out of the woods, think again. The long-range weather outlook shows frigid Arctic air is bringing a sharp plunge in temps almost nationwide. All right. New England, uh, I guess, will be particularly struck with the whirlwind of rain and cold. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like I'm on KFGO right now? <laughs> Swap meet coming up in 22 minutes. <laughs> no, an auction. We're going to have an auction. Uh, the Farmer's Almanac noted that the eastern third of... I met a guy... Last night, who didn't know who Tim Walls was. <laughs> now, let that. me pause, pause. And I thought to myself, well, there is that way to go through life. And the more you think about it, it's not all bad. Sure. I can't decide if that's a ray of hope or the end of the world. I think it might be a ray of hope. I don't know. Oh, I'm, I've decided that I'm going with Ray of Hope. It's, it's an interesting way to live. He's a lot happier than we are. Yeah. Okay, so I got up today, and I thought, 
what would it be like to pretend you didn't know what was going on in this country? Sure. Well, then what you do is you think about fireflies. And you think about the Farmer's Almanac forecast for the country. And you think about things that you can't control but are, are nevertheless interesting. Who's going to play quarterback for the Vikings? Oh, right. Should sure. breakdancing return to the Summer Olympics? Yes. And, uh, <laughs> and, and who is Ray Gunn? Ray Gunn was the President. Australian girl who did uh, a break dance, a bit of mockery, which she claims wasn't mockery. And then apparently she cries when she when she is ridiculed for it. The whole globe is mocking her. Yeah. So what's it like to not know who Tim Walls is? Probably well, joyous. Or Harris, wow. or Trump, or any of them. How 